uh, glad. Real easy then, this pitch right in. So you might want to think about that kind of stuff to protect these things. Okay, <clears throat> Dr. Cott printed this, and it's not very helpful. It does talk about throttle and yaw, hitch, and roll. And uh, Okay, so here's the remote controller. It's got two joysticks, and the throttle is on is on the left. Okay, and the pitch, and the roll is on the right. This thing it charges the battery. So we had to charge it last night. Okay, it's on. Lights up like a Okay. Now, <clears throat> the switch, on switch is right here. Got to pair it up. Well, it seems to already be paired. That's what you call pairing, P A R I N G, in Bluetooth. Yeah. <clears throat> One device has to pair with the other. Okay. So I did fly this yesterday. Without this, I just played with it. And then when I read this, I couldn't make it work. Then I had to, so the next step maybe is, since this isn't that helpful, it didn't tell me how to stop it. <laughs> so this thing was just flying all over the place. It even got under the sofa. And then when we tried to get it, it bit us. This, these things are rotating. Okay, so what do we do? Go on the computer, go to YouTube, and look for videos. So we have to know the name of this thing. It's a RoboLink Co drone. So found a couple of videos. One of them talked about unboxing. And the second one was more useful to me. It was like only a couple of minutes. But it talked about how to stop it, for one. So now I'm going to try to get it to fly. <laughs> So we use the left one. Okay, so I can control it, go up and down. Then with the right joystick, I can go, should be able to go left, or that's left to you. And go right, and back. Okay, now I'm going to try to get it over to you, Ken. <laughs> Looks fragile. Okay. And what I want you to do, kid, is mm -hmm. put your hand out. Oops. Two hands, two hands. Mm -hmm. And get it back up. Ah. Yeah, we found okay. out one, ha oh. one hand isn't enough. You got to have two of them. Tends to like to hug the ground for some reason. How long the battery oh, last? Oh. 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 Okay. I have to stop it. What? What? Don't touch it. Now, the weird thing is, here's yeah. how I stop it. Yeah. Once, once it's stopped, touch it. But those those bl bl blades won't center. cut, but they're gonna hurt. Okay. There's no it. control for stopping. It's just on okay. the sensor. So that stopped it. Yeah. Yeah. I almost got it to you. Yeah, let's try it again. He's going to show you how to stop it. Okay. So, to get it up in the air, is the left one. Whoa. And it'll, it'll, it'll really have a lot of them. And then with the right one, I'm going to try to get it. Man, it sure moves the air. 
Now put your hands close to it. Now far away. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh there you go. There. There. Oh, how neat. Okay, now hold it right there. Hold it right there. Okay. Got it. Hold it right there. Don't do it. Don't do anything. Here we go. Is that enough demonstration on that? Oh, it's okay. oh, let me explain another thing. Here's the battery case. I really don't like the way it does this. But anyway, there's four AA batteries in there. But isn't there a battery? Oh, the battery here is for? That's, that's, to, that's for the motor. So try that. Try that's, how that's long does the battery that. there last? How long, Dr. Todd? I think it's eight minutes of flight time. Wow, that's not very long. <laughs> Okay, now let me, now this was assembled, correct? It comes as a kit. No, it came as a kit. Okay. Uh, yeah, and the important thing about this one here, we've talked about the robots before, the microprocessor, Arduino, and the, and the uh, microcomputer, Raspberry Pi. This one is programmable with the Arduino, which means all, everything we talked about, about the C language last week and so on, this one, you can program it to do all kinds of things. It comes programmed for what he's doing, you know, up, down, right, left, and so on. But if you want to program it to, to fly, uh, you know, let's say you have latitude and longitude. You want it to fly from here to there, or from here to there, or to return back home. You can program it yourself. A lot of the other ones, like the one you got, can't, or you were looking at. You just had two speeds. Yeah, yeah. So each one has got its advantage. Okay, Roy, show them the other one so we've got time. <clears throat> you can see this one is, is look pretty techy. In other words, it's still got the board, all the wires, and so on. So that's made for these high-tech people or kids who are interested in learning all this uh, as compared, yeah. Turn well, build off. it, program it. Uh, you know, make it, make it do other things. You know, let's say, if you can think about what you want it to do, you might want it to fly somewhere and come back home. You might want it to hover, sit there so you can take pictures. There's all kinds of things you might want it to do, but you have to learn how to program it yourself. So, this one now has got the camera built in it. The other one does not, a video and phot photographic camera, but you can't program it yourself. Okay, this is the mini FPV drone. Okay. It's housed in here. What's what's the name of it, Roy? There should be a name on there. I can't remember. It starts with a C, doesn't it? It's a CX-10 WD dash PX. Yeah. You can get okay. this this one on Amazon, by the way. The uh, drone, mini drone, right, mini drone, it's inside of this, so you have to open it up. <clears throat> and this one's got the FPV, first person video on, but you have to use your s smartphone with it. Huh? Oh, never mind. There's a switch right here. Now look how tiny that thing is. Yeah. Can you imagine the amount of electronics that has to have in there? It's got a camera in there. Got a camera in there, yes. It's amazing. And it sends a signal. Take, take, Roy, look at the book. You take one of those and go up and back, right, forward, and back. Uh, the one of the levers. Well, let me explain one more thing. It's coming with this. Okay. 
put this on here. You put your, you get you need, you can put your smartphone right here, but you need to go get an app. Okay. And then you should be able to control that by looking at the smartphone. You might be able to control control it with the smartphone. Right. right. And with that thing I just showed you there from I just bought at Office Max, you can put your smartphone in that headset and get the FPV, the immersion concept. Okay, you want to cut? Cut it. I don't know how to